2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. We've got the Detroit Pistons and the Miami Heat. And so the tip-off, it's Miami. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Hole is out there with Sean Kemp. Then there's Hardaway. And it's ABC. And it's Insanity in at the three spot. Nice read by Dwayne Wade. Beautiful. It's hard to put in there. Nice. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Bull kicks to Hamilton from past the arc. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. First quarter just over a minute played. And a wide open look for Jordan. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Hardaway, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Detroit with the rebound. Here's Insanity, and he dunks it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. To the inside, Jordan. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Jordan's got seven points. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. And that's going to be a turnover. They call him for eight seconds. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Wade. Outside Jordan. From deep three-point range. And again, Miami with the triple. Riding the hot hand. And why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Stolen away. Nobody near Williams. And again, Miami with the triple. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Pistons trail by six. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. Here's Wade. It's deflected. 149 left here in the opening quarter. Insanity the pass to Hamilton. Poked away. Stolen by Wade. Outside Williams. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got his sixth assist on the night. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Miami. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And a new group in for the Heat. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Clutch. LeBron comes in for Williams. Jackson, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And Irving subbed in for Jordan. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. MP's checked in for Bull. Hill comes in for Kemp. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Hamilton. And Thomas subbed in for Hardaway. And 
the rejection by MP. Here's Hill, drives to the hoop. Yeah, that says it all right there. Grant Hill finishing the drive with some thunder. When he's moving at full speed, boy, it looks like he can fly. Here's Irving. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 14-6 run. Chamberlain dishes to LeBron. Heat moving the ball around. And LeBron throws it down. I mean, plenty of lift in those legs. LeBron never did the dunk contest. He just does it in a game. 41 seconds left here in the first quarter. Irving with the steal. Inside. And the dunk by James. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Now here's Jefferson. Here's Insanity. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Miami. They have a nine-point lead. Back to Irving. Jackson in the corner. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists now in this one. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And so it's the Miami Heat up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their work from beyond the arc has been to highlight a lot of threes, finding the bottom of the bucket right back after this break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Heat here, they've been putting on a show, guys. In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. Pistons trail by 12. Here are the five. Detroit has to start the second quarter. They've got insanity. Thomas is out there with Jefferson. That's Hill. And it's MP in its center. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does grip. And Irving throws it down. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. MP kicks to Thomas. For the three. Rebounded by Jackson. A heat beaten by 14. A three ball. And the heat. Another three. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. The insanity the pass to Jefferson. Stolen by Jackson. To the paint and finished off by LeBron. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now. Rush, there's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Watch, he's checked in for Chamberlain. Williams comes in for James. Wade, he's checked in for Jackson. And it's Jordan in for Irving. And the vertical of Wade still remarkable. A, a high-flying two-guard who loves sending it home. Here's Kemp. The kick out to Billups. Tipped away. Stolen by Wade. Shot on the wing. Here's Pendergraf. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Pendergraf's got his second basket of the game. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. Phillips from outside. He doesn't hit that one. Well, he'd go the other way with it. And here's up to Kumbo outside. 
He goes up again. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And, Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. And how about the size Billups has at that point guard spot? Uh, even when he gets hit, he's got the strength to play through the contact. The Pistons shooting their first free throw tonight. Free throw drops for Billups. And Billups is a clutch performer, someone who isn't afraid of taking big shots. I just love how fearless he is. Here's Wade. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Wade's got four points this quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Well, for Detroit, their last game, a loss to the Thunder. And oh, love it, love it. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. 143 left in the first half of the game. To the inside, Jordan, and Jordan slams it in. You know, D-Wade has always been a playmaker. Passing is a part of what makes him special. Here's Hardaway, and then Hardaway with the dunk. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. 106 left to play here in the second quarter. That's no good, and he's three for five. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Hey, man, who wants a free T-shirt? James checked in for Miami. Irving comes in for Dwayne Wade. And then for Detroit. MPs checked in for Kemp. Jefferson comes in for Chauncey Billups. And Thomas subbed in for Hardaway. Powered down after the assist. Led him into the lane. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. MP dishes to Thomas. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Jordan with some nice deep. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. A different look for Miami. Chamberlain comes in for Williams. And it's Jackson in for Jordan. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. 35 seconds left in the first half. To the middle. And Irving throws it down. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Seventeen seconds left to play in the first half. Knocked away. Here's Bendegraaff. And the rejection by MP. Here's Bendegraaff. He's got eight, and Jackson throws it down hard. From deep, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Miami Heat sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. And now. 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our Halftime Show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, give us your tip. They're getting into the lane whenever they want, getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. And Jack, what are your thoughts on Detroit? First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. Nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Well, you look at ABC in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Pistons trail by 21. We've got Jordan. Chamberlain is out there with Williams. And it's clutch, and it's Wade in at the shooting guard position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And stolen by Chamberlain. And stolen by Hamilton. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. There's the killer two-handed slam. And then the young fella busts out the slick move inside to get open for the jam. Greg, that was sick and slick. The D had no chance. And the official signaled the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Yeah, another turnover. The guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. Hardaway with it. Williams picks him up. Here's Hamilton. Plays it up and banks it in. Hamilton's got four this quarter. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Here's Insanity. No good on the three. Miami leading by 19. They get a hand on it. Hardaway with the steal. Here's Insanity. Hammers it on to polish off the break. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Swiped it away. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being. A citizen just like everybody else I have family and friends still living in those environments and I'm their voice Kevin all right David thank you very much they get it again Kemp, and then Kemp slams it in yeah once he gets to the rim it, it's lights out Kemp just too much power and explosives and here's Miami earlier they held a 23 point lead and Chamberlain with the stuff Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. <laughs> all the officials are all over that one. For Detroit, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. The first one falls. <laughs> and Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty, 
But with that southern draw, it sounded like Kenny. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Atatakumbo comes in for clutch, and LeBron subbed in for Chamberlain. And then for Detroit, MP's checked in for Bull. Hill comes in for Kemp. And Chauncey Billups is subbed in for Hamilton. The Heat making a switch here. Irving's checked in. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Jefferson's checked in for Hardaway. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. Knocked loose and stolen by Billups. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Miami Heat. It's a 13-point game. Pass to Insanity. Outside Jefferson. Off target from three-point range. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Here's Hill. LeBron grabs the miss. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. The passing of LeBron is so special, so talented at finding his wide-open teammates. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynn. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. Jackson, he's checked in for Jordan. Miami leading by 15. Cloak loose. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Here's Williams, and it's Williams throwing it down. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Here's Phillips, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. For Detroit, they have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Free throw drops for Chauncey Billups. Thomas checked in for Jefferson. And so Billups nails both of them. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Floats it up for Williams. That shot, no good. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Oh, and, and the power on that food. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And that was another look at the aggressive. Oh, oh. yes. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Knocks it loose and stolen by MP. And MP throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And stolen by Irving. Jackson from long range. Just four seconds left to play in the third. We're yeah, finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. And so it's the Miami Heat in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both 
and he did so at a very high level. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the floor for Detroit, they've got Insanity. MP is out there with Kemp. Then there's Thomas. And it's Hamilton in at the two guard. And they'll get another chance. Second chance shot. And it's out of the Kumbo with the bucket inside. And the Heat lead by 12. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Heat. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And the Heat with some changes. Clutch, he's checked in front of Dukumbo. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for James. Detroit also making some changes. Ole comes in for MP. Hardaway is subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. Shot clock at six. Here's Chamberlain. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. The kick out to Irving. Jackson from long range. Rebound, Detroit. Down low. Now the pass to Insanity. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Jackson. Let's it go from 14. Wade finds Jackson. Sinks the three-pointer. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Tries it from nine. That one a little long. Miami leading by 15. Oh, okay, wow. okay. And that one is stuffed right through. That is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, <laughs> like you said. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Wait, Lee Paz was put in just the right spot. And the Heat lead by 19. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Dwayne Wade. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Back to Jordan. Hardaway with the steal. To end the run, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two way to attack there and then create the contact. Steve, you played four years at Michigan State with all the changes, including pro options for the top prospects. Do you worry at all about the college game? No, I don't worry about it. In some ways, having more players who stick around is a good thing, but I love the opportunity these young guys are getting. Continuity can lead to beautiful basketball. They just have to make adjustments. Detroit making a switch here. MPs checked in for bowl. Wallace comes in for Sean Kemp. Jerry Stackhouse is checked in for Insanity, and it's the kid in for Hardaway. Chauncey Billups is checked in for Detroit. 1.32 left in the game. Inside, here's Rice, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Ball's not loose. Now Detroit moving it up. Phillips, no good. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Butler with the ball, and it's Wallace picking him up. Jordan with the bucket. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. It's tipped. 
They get it back. Basket counts. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. Passes it to Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Wallace left side. Here's the kid off on that one. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long.